Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with the Main Guide. And one of the favorite all-time pastimes for canoeists in the winter is going over, pouring over maps. So I thought I would just do a little thing on how I break down a river map with just these little dorky markers, different colors. Now, if you're old enough back in the day, you had one of these. You dorked out with one of these, okay? Which I still have. I don't know what that says about me, but I still have it. So I'm just gonna tilt the camera down and kind of show you what I what I do once I latch onto a map, okay? So you guys are gonna recognize this as the beautiful Bonaventure River. God, one of my favorites. So a uh, little Bonaventure Lake here. Um, and the first thing I did was I just took the green and I started outlining the campsites. The other thing that I always liked, and Mike Patterson taught me this, and it seems kind of obvious, but it's nice to have it when you're standing there at the edge of the river, is I always like to mark little direction arrows, like we're going down, this is downstream, we're going down river. Um, I'll, I'll mark this is a dry kai section that moves every every year and I'll just um this is indicated right here and I'm just going to put an L right here because we're pulling out on the left to scout those and deal with it. So I'm just going to put an L there. I'm going to put an L here and that just tells me at a glance that that's what's happening. I also, it didn't, the map kind of, it does it, but it doesn't. I ended up putting a, a compass rose on every map or just a, you know, an indication of, you know, direction. This says map two. This is where, this is where it gets real on the Bonaventure. Not that the whole thing isn't real, but this is what Mike and Larry always called map two. You know, and so this is the class three sections and the gorge sections and where you really are going to be working it as a guide. Um, and so I'll just, I love that the map does this with the blank at the sides because I, I, I can take a whole bunch of notes and I really enjoy that. But once you break down um, a map for yourself, just with the colors and the campsites and the directional arrows and the uh, the kilometers or miles, these are in kilometers, but you know, I don't bother converting to miles. I guess one thing that I have done in the past is I've done that in the past. Um, and I might do it on this one, but that's, I just wanted to give like a little overview on the different things. This, um, not just map two, but this indicates the 1994 burn, um, which the last time I did the Bonaventure, it was not long after the burn. It was 1999 and it, these slamming 90 degree corners, boy, there was a really dicey burn slash pile around every one. Um, so I remember that. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you there. Just little things that keep you going as a canoeist. And um, I've loved maps my whole life. And so every river seems like a little bit daunting. And this is one of the things that really helps break it down, make it seem real and a lot less daunting. I'm Lisa Dehart, and you've just spent three minutes with the main guide.